Hello, Gamer Nome is back. And in this video, we're going to have this noob with the Phoenix Fruit, Awaken It, and Reach Max Level. But before we start, you can show your support by using Star Code Gamer Nome when purchasing your Robux. 5% of the earnings will go to me, and this will really help us on making better videos. Where the Echo Slam oh, there it is. forward. There's your slam. There's the dump. Guys, did you know? that you can awaken your phoenix fruit in the second sea? Yes, there's a way to awaken it without doing the quest in the third sea. So here's a proof, level 775. But again, this video is a level 1 to 2400. So let's grind first. In the first part of this video, we're gonna grind the phoenix v1 reworked. Yes, and for our first skill, we got the cannon. There you go, it looks better now. But sadly guys, this fruit is one of the hardest fruit to grind because of the mastery requirements. Like for example guys, to get your fast kick, you need mastery 160. That's really hard but let's keep on grinding. Our target here with the bandits is to reach level 15, okay? Okay, so once you reach that level, here are the stats. We're gonna do the fountain strat. Again, put some stats on your melee and let's head to the fountain city. Again, because again, we're gonna do the fountain strat. And the technique here is number one, you need to lure Galley Pirate, okay? So once you lure the Galley Pirate, use the wall strat. Don't worry, there is no damage here. I'm gonna show it to you, there you go. Next up, you're gonna damage the Galley Pirate using your M1, your combat, right? So we're gonna need some help from our M1 and make sure to last hit your enemy with your cannon. Let's do it, there you go. So again, from level 15, you will reach level 25 in no time and also get, I mean, reach mastery 31. Okay, so your target here is to reach level 60. Yes, you're gonna keep grinding here. There you go, and after that, next stop is the desert. So guys, you will be unlocking your hybrid flight. You're looking at it now. Next up, we're gonna grind the desert bandits until you reach level 75 using our cannon only. No! Yes, you need to do your best and be patient because again, on the next set of mobs, the Desert Officers, you're gonna grind here until level 90 again using only cannon. So it's really hard, I'm telling you. There you go. So once you reach level 90, here are the stats, 35 melee, defense 20, blocks for 215, next up the Frozen Village. Now before grinding, head to the cave, look for the ability teacher and make sure to buy everything. The sky jump. The enhancement and the flash step and after that head straight to the snow bandits and grind here until level 105 okay so once you reach level 105 your target now is the yeti guys listen to what i'm gonna say we're gonna server up all bosses until second c wait a minute target level here is level 130 when you reach that level next stop is the marine fortress so here our only target is the vice admiral and again we're gonna do server hop just so you know guys we're gonna skip the skylands don't worry this one's faster we're gonna unlock our regeneration flames so the question here is gamer Nom, can it damage enemies guys sadly no i've tried it there you go i died but if you awaken your x skill yes you can damage your enemy and here is the proof Check this out, there you go, Axe skill awakened. Anyway, back to grinding, our target here is level 220. And before we move on to our next island, stat check, 80 melee defense, blocks fruits 500. Next up guys is the prison. So here we have three bosses, namely the warden at level 220, the chief warden at level 230, and the swan at level 240. So same strategy, we're gonna do wall strat and server hop to all of them. And our target level here is level 350. We will also unlock our fast kick, yes the C skill. Finally, we have two skills to damage the enemy. There you go, oh, shout out to this friend of ours. He, we help each other grind, thank you, welcome. There you go, bye. <laughs> okay, so at 350, next up is the magma village. So our target here again is another boss, the Magma Admiral. So here it is. There you go. Here is the fast kick. Our strategy here is first dodge his skills. Wait for it. There you go. And then use your own skills. So again, dodge, attack. 
and defeat him, do server hop until you reach level 425. Okay, so at level 425, we're gonna check our stats now. There you go. Melee defense, 130. Blood fruits, 1015. Next up is the underwater city. So here, our target is the Fishman Lord. So here, our technique, first you need to lure him. Next, do wall strat. Okay, remember the prison strat. Guys, enemy can damage, might damage you, but it is just minimal to no damage. So just keep on grinding here until you reach level 500. You might get the trident, yes, the sword, but we will focus on grinding this fruit, okay? So again, at level 500, next up, the Skylands. Okay, finally, Skylands, off to the upper sky, and target is the Whisper. Strategy, Stone Strat, so just to stay here, he cannot damage you. Check this out, no damage, one more time, no damage, no damage, okay? So it's very easy to defeat him. Target level here is level 625, and after that, moving on to the final island, the Fountain City. Our only target here is the Gallet Pirates. Go. At first, it's kind of hard, but once you unlock your V skill, the full transformation, everything will be a lot easier, okay? So again, just a reminder, be patient on using this fruit, okay? So uh, what's our target level here? Guys, target level is 775, and after that, make sure to do the prison quest. Let's do some stat check. Here are the stats, melee 200, defense 200, blood fruits 1,925. After that, head to the middle town, look for the experienced captain, and guys, we can now awaken our phoenix fruit, finally, second C. So we're gonna head to the hot and cold, and straight to the laboratory, and for the cold, red, blue, green, blue. And for our final trick, ask someone who already finished the phoenix quest in the third C to get a chip for you. So for me guys, I use my main account. Guys, and that's it. Don't need to do anything. Oh, just one thing guys, you need to survive. Yes. If you died here, you won't get the opportunity to awaken. Okay, if you want, you can watch them. Okay, so for our first quest, you need 500 fragments to awaken your Z skill, the cannon. It will turn into cremation cannon once you awaken it. Okay. After that, I decided to go back to grinding and start defeating swan pirates so guys here you go i'm gonna show you the cremation cannon there you go guys it's this skill has dps after the skill your enemy can still be burned for additional damage per second so our target level here with the sun pirates is 925 next up the green zone next target is fajita until level 1000 i suggest you do server hop here and take note of the mobs that we skip Okay, so at level 1000, next up, the Snow Mountains. Guys, after this, we will awaken some of the skills, so better watch out for that. Target here is the Snow Troopers. So guys, we're just gonna grind here 150 levels. Yes, 150 levels, which means we're gonna skip lots of mobs again. Here are our stats at that level. 450 melee, defense 600, blood fruits max. Okay, so we've already maxed our blood fruits. Next island is the Hot and Cold. So before we awaken some of our skills, we're gonna defeat the Smoke Admiral first. So here it is. I'm gonna make it short for you guys. So just use your skills, Z and X skill. There you go. And after that, just dodge him. If you got damage, use your regeneration flames to heal. And that's it guys, very easy and very simple. So you're gonna grind here and server up. So for the awakened skills, first off, after the Z skill, you will be awakening your F skill. So this skill will cost you, I think, 2,000 fragments. Yes. Again, F skill, the hybrid flight. It will cost you 2,000 fragments. There you go. So what's new, guys? The flame has damage now. And also, you don't need to hold F to fly. I'm going to show to you the damage. Here it is. Check it out. Okay, it really looks cool. Next up, guys, we're going to uh, awaken the X skill. The regeneration flames it will cost you 3000 fragments so guys again this has heal and damage right already showed you this a while ago and i'm gonna show it to you again there you go next up the c skill is one of my favorite skills there you go 4000 fragments is needed to unlock this skill the flame exodus and i'm gonna show it to you there you go now back to the grinding 
who is basically Smoke Admiral is our dummy. We're gonna test our new skills on him. <laughs> Anyways, target level here is level 1250. Okay, don't worry guys, we will awaken all the skills before we head to the third seat. Next island is the cursed ship. Actually, this is not an island, but our target will be the ship deckhands only. Check this out. You can defeat them by just using your F skill. There you go, guys. Continuous damage. They cannot damage you, which means easy grinding. Okay, so no more explanation here. Just keep on grinding until you reach level 1350. So upon reaching that level, we will now head to the next island, the Ice Castle. So first, our target is the Arctic Warriors until level 1400. And since this fruit is not a Logia type fruit at 1400, we will defeat the Ice Admiral. Yes, we rarely do this. But Gamer, I noticed something. What is this area? Guys, this is just a glitch caused by the sea skill, Flame Exodus. There you go. So if you use that skill with the Ice Admiral, there's a high chance that your enemy will be glitched which will be really helpful <laughs> so our target level here is 1475 and after that forgotten island target is the tide keeper so guys i think this fruit is really good for this boss we're gonna level up 25 times here yes we're gonna do server hub guys this fruit is so powerful once you unlock most of the skills that even with the sea beast you can easily defeat the tide keeper Okay, so we're gonna reach level 1,500 here. And once we reach level 1,500, before we move on to the third C, last two raids to unlock or awaken all the Phoenix skills. For this skill, guys, this is, I think, the tap. Yes, the left-click damage. It will cost you 4,000 fragments. And for the final raid, we will unlock the full transformation that will cost you 5,000 fragments, okay? Now we've unlocked all the skills. Let's transform V skill. There you go. It really looks good. Now time to do the Coliseum quest. And after that, oh, don't forget to beat Swan. And after beating Swan, finishing the Coliseum quest, you can now defeat Indra. Actually, just damage him enough, like half HP. And they will send you to the green zone. Look for Mr. Captain and he will then send you to the third C. Congratulations to us. Here is our badge. So guys, our first target, the Pirate Millionaire. To be honest, they're hard to defeat. If you want to survive, you need to keep moving. Yes, also use your observation hockey. I'll be honest, this is like the hardest part in the third C. Check this out. I'm dodging, dodging with the observation hockey. You're going to use some of your tap, Z skill, and your C skill. Okay? Okay, I hope you get past this part because after this, everything will be easy. Goal level is 1,675. And once you reach that level, next island is the Hydra Island. That check first. Melee 1,000, defense 1628, max blocks fruits. For our target is the Island Empress. Technique here, wall strat and server hop. If ever you get damage, don't worry. Again, you have heal. So just be patient and keep on attacking this Z skill. This reminder has DPS. Check this out. There you go. If you're doing wall strat, I don't suggest using C skill because it will pull your enemy outside. So for this part of the grinding phase, C skill is a no-no. But if you want to use it, you can defeat it without using wall strat. It's kind of easy to be honest. Target level is level 1751. And after that, next island is the Great Tree. Our target here is Kilo Admiral, guys. This boss has no skill to damage airborne enemies, which means you can defeat him even by using hybrid flight. So guys, again, uh, there are no other strategies here. It's very easy to defeat. You're gonna grind here until level 1800. Okay, let's check our stats first. Melee 1000, defense 2000, and blast fruits max. Next up, the Floating Turtle. Our only target here is the Fishman Captains. But Gamer Gnome, there are lots of mobs here. The reason here is they're easy to defeat. They are near the quest giver compared to other mobs, right? Also, they spawn really fast. So that is the reason why I just focus grinding here. Target level is 1,875. And once you reach that level, we are now moving to the next island, okay? 
So what's that island gamer gnome? The island is the haunted castle. Our only target here is the reborn skeletons. Yes, we're gonna skip all the other mobs. We're just gonna focus here until we reach level 2075. Okay, after that, next up, Sea of Treats. Last three mobs, first is the Peanut Scouts. My reasoning here is again, if they're near the quest giver, they're very easy to defeat. I think you only need two sets of skills to beat them. Use the tap, use your C or X skill, and that's it. Our target level here is, uh, I think, level 2200, yes. Again, we skip lots of mobs, and after that, at 2200, we will move on to the next island. The island where... Uh, you can fight Do King. This is your stats, max defense, and block fruits. Next up, the Cookie Crafters. They're the same with the Kilo Admiral. They cannot attack airborne enemies. Okay, so as you can see, I'm just using my uh, F skill. There you go. They're very easy to defeat. Check it out. But I suggest use your other skills to make things faster, right? Okay, so after this, you're gonna leave this area at level 2300. After that, we are going to the final island, the final new island, the Chocolate Land, and we're gonna defeat Coco Warriors. So same strategy like the Cookie Crafters, they cannot hit you if you're in the air. So keep on grinding here, yes, again, they're very easy to defeat. So guys, there you go, you're gonna grind here your final 100 levels to reach max level. So guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have any requests, just comment it in the comment section. So again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, we've reached max level. There you go. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is GamerNom, and GamerNom out.